Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 14, and this is war number two. And we're going up against an alliance called Magnetars. Now, I've already scouted out my path. And as you can see, we're doing a 2BG war for this one. And I take path one. Path one is the Starburst path. And if you've watched my war videos, you already know the king of this path is Gladiator Hulk. All right. So as you saw there, I wasn't able to move as far as I would have liked, but we came back and we were able to move. So after scouting my path out, I looked at who I was going to have to fight and I didn't see any particular problems for Gladiator Hulk. Most of the time, they, my, our opponents would either not place a defender on this node or they'll place a weak defender on this node. So, Unstoppable Colossus, not a strong defender, all right? And against Gladiator Hulk, the only annoying thing, of course, is the Unstoppable. It just makes it so that I have to take it a, a, a little bit slower. And you see that Indestructible? That's thanks to the global node they chose, the defense global. Uh, so I had to deal with that, just making the fight take a little longer. There's another unstoppable, but he's already halfway to his doom. All right, so here it reset. So there we go, got another unstop, uh, rather indestructible, which is why I only hit him one time, triggered it, and backed off. Uh, just waited for it to get on cooldown, and then went in, and done. So it does mess up my pace a little bit. I prefer to fight very aggressively, but you can't do that with that node, especially if you're dealing with a metal champion. You have to deal with the indestructible. You don't want to keep on hitting them and giving them power when you can't do any damage to them. Next up is Phoenix. Don't have to worry about that global. She's not metal. The only thing that you have to somewhat worry about is that right of the phoenix sometimes if you are in the middle of a combo and she gets it she becomes super aggressive and she'll attack you long before you can even recover and so just have to watch out for that as you saw i did there just paused it you know took the fight nice and slow and got her down so that was it for me for this path. As you see, um, this first mini boss, I don't really have a counter for that boss. Uh, so one of the other, uh, one of my other teammates got that boss down and we're on to section two. And in section two, I take path two and look at that. They didn't even place a defender right there. I found that odd. I would place a defender there and skip the defender on the first node personally, but whatever, uh, I accept gifts. Now this fight here, I was like, well, I think I'm going to go in here with my Spider-Man Stark enhanced. He is still one of my favorite champions to play. Now the first time I went up against a Korg, with Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, it did not go well at all. Now, this Korg is not awakened. That means I don't have to worry about any damage from his shield. I just have to get it down to do some damage to him. And you saw there that I was able to evade his special one. Learning to evade his special one was huge. Okay, now right there, I almost pushed him to a special three. Uh, thanks to the node, uh, when you hit him with a special, he is going to get power. So you have to be careful about that. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to make sure he's nice and low if I do anything. And I got lucky there. I attacked him while he was unstoppable. And uh, he did not punish me. I dashed back and we got him down. Had that cord been awakened... I would not be in as good of a shape as you saw me there. All right. Uh, so very happy to see a Korg unawakened 
on defense. All right, so as you saw, it wasn't cleared. That mini boss I would have fought, but when I came back, uh, already taken, and I was told to take out this Mr. Sinister. Let me tell you about this Mr. Sinister fight. I went in here and I checked our uh, score and we were well in the lead, okay? So I'm like, all right, well, I should be able to take this fight, you know, easy. I'm boosting up because I have boosts in my overflow and I don't want them to expire and I got to use them somewhere. Uh, I don't tend to use boosts in Alliance Quest. So if I'm not using them here, I'm not using them anywhere. And I'm eyeing those three minute boosts because I've already claimed the Alliance War rewards, the compensation that we got. Uh, but I was already using some of those just to make sure that I didn't have too many in my overflow. Well, right now, I think I have one of each in my overflow maybe two of one of them all right so i just have to make sure i use those uh before they expire now i don't fight sinister very often and certainly not with my gladiator hulk so i was kind of making up the strategy as i went i'm like okay i need to fire off my special two i mean a uh, special one and get that heal block. Now, he caught me with his special too. And I was kind of upset about that. And I'm like, is that how this is going to go? Because I can evade his special too. But I don't know what happened there. I just got the timing a little bit wrong, you know? So here we go. And boom. Easy, right? That's how the first one should have went. But it didn't. So now I'm like, all right, at least I don't have to worry about his special one transferring uh, my own uh, damage over time debuffs on me, you know? So look at that, evading it just fine. I guess that first one woke me up. So I'm trying to fire off the special one so that I can heal block him and then go to town. Now, just looking at it a little bit, you know, now, what I should do is wait until I'm almost to a special two, like you see me doing here, fire off the special one, which I did not do there, and then go to town. But I didn't do it. And I was like, okay, well, I'm running suicides and maybe I wanna conserve my, um, my health. So I started thinking, let me fire off some special threes instead. But here's the problem. I looked up and saw the, look at this, look at this. I looked up and saw my uh, timer and I just started getting hit and I'm just like, okay, I will probably die on this one. So I'm just like, let me slow down, take my time. And I know better than to try and fire off my specials because my recoil will take me out. So I'm like, I gotta fire off special threes. And I'm hoping that I can do enough damage, okay? So I'm in ultra concentration mode at this point. And I'm looking at his health, looking at my health, and I'm like, okay, I might be able to do this. Let's bait out that special one again, and let's keep going. I only have 4% health, but if I play it carefully, I should be able to do it. You know, bait out that special one again. Okay, we can do this. And then the timeout. I had lost track of the time and I had gotten happy and I was like, okay, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. No. So I'm just like, I don't believe this. I timed out with Gladiator Hulk and it's my own fault. That should not have happened. Uh, I was low in health because I made mistakes. I didn't evade his special two. I think I got hit or clipped by it twice. So yeah, that was all me. All right, so now I went in with Blade to clean it up. And I'm not 
worried about finishing this off at all. But I don't want him transferring that bleed on me, which is why I waited out there. And I said, all right, we're just going to finish him off here with either just regular attacks or the special two. Uh, I wanted to heal up just a little bit, just in case I needed it for the next fight. So we finished him off. Now I'm looking for some vindication. After that horrible, sinister timeout, here we have a Medusa. Now I have a history with Medusa and she has given me problems in the past. Now you see my boosts are still active and I'm like, all right, well, let's go ahead and uh, grab that next boost there and let's go in. All right. Now I didn't want to take any chances. So I went ahead and used one of those. I got those also from the Align to War Compensation. That's why I have so many of them. And now we're going to take in my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced against Medusa. And now I used Spider-Man Stark Enhanced in uh, Labyrinth of Legends. He was my clearer, so I know how to use him. And he's quite good. And I'm also familiar with Medusa. And you don't want to get trapped in the corner like that. But... I also know how to deal with her when I'm trapped in the corner. Boom. And we're going to do that all day. Every day. She cannot trap me in the corner. I know her tricks. Hitting into the block. Also good to get some space. Boom, boom. Even though she is immune to debuffs, that special two still hits hard. All right. She's got three furies up. So I'm countering with a uh, heavy. All right, and that's pretty much what you want to do. Every time she's blocking like that, hit into her block to get some space. When she tries to fire off a heavy like that, you can uh, go in if she doesn't have three furies or counter it with a heavy. And I'm like, yeah, wham, met her in the air, took her down. That's right, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced is a beast. I know not everybody likes him. He is a glass cannon, but if you use him well, He'll treat you well. All right. So now let's find out how we did in this war. And as you can see, we won. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.